Here we are in our fisherman's disguises, ready to investigate a tip from a rat. Just another normal day. It's not a lie! If you would just listen, I could explain! You have done quite enough explaining, Volothamp Gadam. Today, citizens, we rid ourselves of this cankerous sore. Today, we burn away all falsehoods. Today, we will be divided no longer, for today, we rise in truth. Psst. Don't you stand there. Help me, gods damn it! Help me! Perhaps we should aid him. He is an old friend after all. Or at least, an old acquaintance. What crime is this man guilty of? If he is guilty, where is the evidence? Where is the trial? This isn't justice, this is mob madness. The newcomer speaks and speaks of evidence and trials and justice. And in so doing, they delay their very own salvation. Dear citizen, dear friend, rest assured you will have your justice. But I'm afraid the time for trials has passed. Now, it's the time for judgment! No! Please! No! What do you think I'm doing? I'll uh, tell you what I know, but not here. Too many eyes, ears, weapons about. Meet me at your camp, hmm? Well, this was an interesting detour to the docks. Freshened up and ready to fight. Sold everything. This catch is spoiled. You'll have to wait for the next boat. Trust me, you don't want to eat these. Why not? Denise, how do fish even get day? They live in water. Hmm. Maybe it's my nets. I'll give them a clean too. The water's polluted. Three, oh. hmm. I hate this. That lousy smuggler won't take all of us because we can't afford four berths. Greedy bastard. This is life and death for me too, mate. You only get as many berths on my sloop as you can pay for. If I allow any freeloaders, my own crew will scrag me. Captain... Uh, Sleem, is it? It would be a shame to split up the family, don't you think? Let the father go with them. Very well, I'll do it. I suppose I can find some way to make it good with the crew. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. I just couldn't bear to leave our girl's father behind. Wonder what's causing it. I've fished these waters my whole life. Oh, wave mother. Queen of the Depths, hear me. Please carry Holly to her final rest in the deep wilds. Please... Sorry. Are you here for a wave servant Holly's funeral? Oh, it's already started out the just inside. 
Oh, uh, am I interrupting the funeral? No, no. All are welcome to come and celebrate the life of the fallen wave servant. May the wave mother smile on you as she did Holly. Of course you're right. It is easy, Ramit. You just need to honor a bit. Here to make an offering to Ambali as well, eh? They say it's good luck to placate the bitch queen after a drowning. Oh, um, definitely. Glad to hear it, friend. Maybe Umberly will set her hand to all the strangeness going on in Grey Harbor now she's lost one of her own. Um, sorry, mate. No time to chat. Just here to make an offering, then leave. In and out, yeah? Rejoice, sisters, for Umberly has blessed her humble daughter with a pure death. Her lips blue with her kiss, her lungs full of her quenching word. Umberly's mercy saved her from a slow, sinking death in the beast's shadow. How dare this beast sully the safety of Grey Harbor? We will find its master and send him struggling into the bitch queen's embrace. Not a sweet sleep like Holly's, but a suffocating flood of fruitless garths and bursting flesh. You, supplicant, what tribute do you bring to honor the Wave Mother's fallen daughter? I've brought my weapon to help avenge her death. Yes. Then you know as well as Umberly that blood must soon be shed. Your tribute is well received. Breathe deep as she permits. Did this person drown? Yes. Thank the Wave Mother. Blessed Umberly saw fit to spare her an ignoble death. But her passing was not as the Wave Mother intended. It was a beast who took her life. An unnatural one whose very existence is an affront to Umberly. A wretched metal monstrosity hewn by hubris. A rusting pollutant that bleeds black blood into Umberly's pristine waters. Well, I'm good at slaying beasts. Maybe I could help you. The Queen of the Depths is generous to those who serve her, and her favor is far less deadly than her wrath. Find the master of this poisonous beast and slay him. Then one of her most precious gifts shall be yours. Where can I find the beast's master? The beast struck Holly while she was swimming in Grey Harbor. She was found by some fishermen. We haven't found its lair as yet. Perhaps you can find where the beast takes its slumber and skewer it before it wakes. All right, I'll see what I can do. Salt kiss your brow. We await your return and the beast master's demise. Glorious wave mother. Pour fury upon the beast responsible for this injustice. I'm reminded of a book father kept hidden in a drawer. The Salty Mermaid. Do you know of it, Shadowheart? Fabian ran his callous fingers along the lure's scales. Her tail quivered in response. <laughs> Taste me, Alora pleaded. Fabian smashed his lips against hers, and their tongues twisted together like two eels in the sword sea. The pinnacle of good trash. Even I can't forget that one too easily. Your father is a man of fine taste. Well, I had no idea. Black blood. 
No. Machinery oil. The spill seems to lead this way. Sharp as ever. What's this? You ain't supposed to be down here, mate. You spot a curious metal contraption in the water. A submersible. That submersible? Why is it here? What is this place? The only port in this whole bleeding city that matters. Now, why are you here? Did Gortas send you? Y yeah, um... Boss sent me to check up on the situation down here. No news is good news, right? Especially with the rough water between here and the Iron Throne. No prisoners lost in the last batch of runs either, though them servants of Umbly are making the trip damn near deadly. Bloody salt is always flopping around in the water. I've almost hit one or two now. Might have even nicked one off the port bow the other day. Maybe that'll teach them to keep out of the way. Who are these prisoners? Gondians, mostly. Collateral to keep those working in the Steel Watch foundry under control. I've never heard of this Iron Throne. It's an underwater prison, most secure in the realms. Myself and Cap are the only ones who can make it there in one piece. Alder Ravenguard is here. He must be. If he is, that's Lord Gortash's business. I don't ask questions. You're as guilty as the people who imprisoned the Gondians. And you're the judge, jury, and executioner, is that it? Yep. Yeah, right. Say goodbye, kid. Onward. Oh. Nothing will stand in my way. Let's get this over with. Let's go get older. Aren't you the intrepid little adventurer? Digging and diving where you don't belong. I thought we were friends. What are you doing here? The Iron Throne. A ruin from the city's dark past that could become a template for a brighter future. It is the most useful tool for motivating my Gondian workforce. Key to the construction of the Steel Watch that keep the city safe. But like all tools, the moment it ceases to be useful, I will break it. Thanks to your trespassing, that moment may have come. Return to the city, find Orin, and claim her Netherstone as you agreed to do. And then I will forget this transgression. Your conscience pricks. You did agree to an alliance after all. But then again, what honor need there be with someone like Gortash? How many people are trapped within? How many lives will be lost? Consider our alliance over. That was a mistake. When the corpses start to wash up on the shore, remember, you could have prevented all this.
I'm coming for you. My pet, I was hoping you'd bound along. A bargain's a bargain, and I've come to see it through. Mia Furia. Kneel for me. What are you doing? Exactly what you asked for. Now, stand back and enjoy the show. greets you upon exiting the submersible. Unlike the Iron Throne, you remain intact. So, it seems, will the families of all the hostages rescued from the throne. Duke Ravenguard approaches you, looking confused. He's tangled, but under my protection now, just like you. His mind is his own again. Father. Will. God, it pains me to look at you. By Baldrin's graces, why have the hells ordained you to save me? Your tadpole resonates with Raven Guards. The exhausted Grand Duke is a flurry of emotion. Have a heart. Your son is a hero. We saved lives here today, including your own. Every last hell, son. I roll oh, my head. Raven Guard's head still aches so powerfully the pain seeps into you. The absolute may be silenced, but the Duke's parasite still remains. I know you have questions. Please go to our camp. You'll be safe there. We'll talk soon enough. Raven Guard answers with silence. He and Will have much to discuss. We made it! We actually made it! The depths are no place for me. I shall be glad to walk upon dry land once again. I think I've had my fill of underwater misadventures. Let's get back to the surface world before any more perils seek us out. I'll get to your camp. We'll talk there. Father will be waiting in camp. It's about time we talked. I just... I... I can't thank you enough. I was certain that place was to be my cold, wet tomb. You... You saved us! Saved us all! I thought it impossible, but... But you did it! We were kept hostage to control our families in the Steel Watch Foundry, to keep them building Gortash's death machines. Please. They need to know what happened here. They have no reason to obey Gortash anymore. If they rebel, it'll put a dent in Gortash's steel might. All right. I will help the Foundry workers rebel. Gon smiles on me this day. Thank you. 
Looks like we have another stop to make. Wait! Elevator gyroscopes. Triple Z quadrupex. No, it can't be. We're so close to the end. Don't lose hope now. Hope will not help us here, my friend. I hear it through the floor. Powerful, indestructible. The ultimate watcher. The Titan. Indestructible. We'll see about that. Let us end this. I will bring down not only the Steel Watch, but the very Foundry itself. This place will be smoke and rubble when I am finished. Are you ready, my friend? Do it. That was a hell of a show, my friend. Watchers collapse in the street as we speak. And the foundry. Well, it won't stain this beautiful city with its abominations. Not anymore. But it's not over. So long as a single parasitic Gondian remains, Baldur's Gate is under threat. Enough, Wolbrin. Gortash enslaved us, forced us to build his steel watches, but no more. You Gondians will lie, scheme, and torment this city until your dying breaths. Let's end this! Walbrin, enough! I won't watch as you poison your soul and the brilliant future that remains to the Iron Hand gnomes. I thought the Iron Hand Gnomes had corrupted you, Wolbrin. Now, I wonder if it wasn't the other way around. I still want to believe you're better than that, Wolbrin. But even I am having my doubts. You carry the light and love of all that is good, Barkus. I think you would make an excellent leader of the Iron Hands, don't you? I can't save you from yourself, Wolprin. It hurts terribly, but I can't. Toss your values in the bin if you want, but don't throw out the Iron Hands with them. This is ridiculous. Iron Hands, kill this man. How dare you? Cowards! It is with a heavy heart that I remove Wolbrin Bongle from our ranks. You have until first light to leave the city. Wolbrin, when we next meet, my hammer will cleave your skull in two, and that is a promise! Well, here we are. A most unexpected outcome. You'll make a great leader of the Iron Hand Gnomes. I am many things. A leader is not one of them. But no time like the present to learn. And I can't do any worse than Walbring. Sorry as I am to say it. I don't know when he became so angry. So violent. But I'm glad to say I see the truth of it now. At last. Now, uh, myself and the Iron Hand Gnomes have much to disentangle. But when you're ready to face what's waiting for you, believe me, we will be at your side. And all because of a rat.
First you cleave my heart in twain, now you shatter it to pieces. My son, a monster. Twist it beyond recognition, to think my blood flows through those veins. Is this my fate? To be freed from Gortash's hell, only to be trapped in yours? It isn't what you think. It never was. You turned your back on me, on your city, to chase the she-devil and her power. She stinks up the place even now. It is exactly what I think. Wills devoted his life to protecting the coast. He's used his powers wisely. There is no wise use of the Hell's powers. Father, please. There's something I must show you. Raven God's tadpole clenches as your memories and wills flow into him. My tears wounds. I'm in your mind. The Grand Duke sees Mizora and her infernal sisters. He sees the agony in Will's face as an impossible choice is set before him. No. My son. The past becomes present, and Will's thoughts are laid bare. Ravenguard sees Will partnering with Mizora to defeat Tiamat's cultists before they could lay siege to Baldur's Gate, and he sees everything beyond. The Nautiloid journey, the perilous path to Moonrise, the astral prism, and the Emperor within. Well, everything I did, I did for Baldur's Gate. I did for you. It's the truth, Ravenguard. Will has always been a faithful defender of Baldur's Gate. My son. You sold your soul to save Baldur's Gate, and I cast you out for it. You gave yourself to the Hell's eternal fires so I might walk free. By the gods. Can you ever forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. You wanted to protect the city. I only ever wanted the same. You are a better man than most, and a better son than I deserve. I'll yet make amends, but... My duty is first and foremost to the city and its people. There's something I must ask of you. Go on. Before I was captured, I was on a mission. Returning from Alterel, I discovered the plans of the Absolutists. I immediately realized the city couldn't defend itself against such an army. And I didn't despair, because the city has a secret guardian, a worm that sleeps beneath. He can be called upon in times of great need. This is such a time. You've been trained in the ways of the great champions and proven to be one of them. The worm will answer your call. You must seek him out. Do you mean Ansur? The worm is dead, father. Where we might have once found a friend, we found only his bones animated by an old grievance. But the heart of the gate still lives in me, in my allies. In Ansur's defeat, I found my spirit renewed. Once I've vanquished the Absolute, I will walk in your footsteps and lead the city as a Grand Duke. I am Will Ravenguard, son of Alda. My son. Together there is no army we cannot conquer, and no wrong we cannot right. Hail, Duke Will Ravenguard. Together, Will and I will make Baldur's Gate the brightest gem aside the Sword Sea. The heart of the gate will prevail. So, how did the Absolute Cultist capture you? I was returning from Elturel. My traveling party stopped at an inn, Joaquin's Rest, to lay our heads. It wasn't the heat that woke me, it was the scent. Cultists had set fire to the place. 
I don't remember being taken. Just the smoke burning my throat before I fell. If only Floric. Oh, hells. Floric. While the Absolute commanded my mind, I condemned her to death and confined her in Worm's Rock prison. She stood by me even as the hell's fires lapped at my feet. You must free her. Oh, Floric is free. She's gathering allies as we speak. Tremendous news. She proves as loyal to you as she is to me. I couldn't bear it if she died by my command. May the Triad guide her steps. What was your business in Elturel? A complicated one. I went to greet Elturel's High Overseer. Only for the Archdevil Zario to drag the city into the hells. I've been touched by Avernus. Been a plaything for demons. A tale for other places. Other days. Yes, I'll let you rest. I'm here for you. Always. Oh, uh, well thank you, but I thought you might have something to say about your dad, but maybe you're still processing. I'll leave you to that. Great job, guys. <laughs> <laughs>